Hey, I'm Fiddler Man, and today I want to show you how to cut a sound post for a violin. Now, hopefully this is not something you need to do and will ever have to do, but if you need to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it the best way. Now, you can purchase a sound post stick, high quality, from Fiddler Shop, and you'll need a really sharp knife. This is a knife that we use with a very high quality steel, and we keep it super sharp with a honing stone, and that's probably the most important tool you're going to need for cutting a sound post. Now, this is a long stick, and the first thing I do is cut the bottom angle. So, if you don't know much about the angle already, off the center of the violin, you're gonna probably wanna move over maybe about uh, three quarters of an inch, and then you'll see that angle that you need to cut that first stick on, okay? That's the first cut I want you to make. That's gonna be the bottom of the sound post. Now, now I'm gonna show you how to cut that. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look at the grains in the wood. See, the grains are running like this, and I'm taking the dead center of it, and I'm gonna draw a line on the top. This is gonna be my guideline. I wanna keep this line on top at all times. Now, you're gonna slice with the grain, not against the grain, and you're gonna keep your knife perfectly perpendicular to, you can't have it at any angle whatsoever. This is extremely important. Keep it perfectly straight. Now, I'm gonna use a utility knife and only because this is probably a tool that everybody has. Make sure before you cut this sound post stick that you make put a brand new utility blade. Do not try to use a used blade. This is super important. Now, out of this little cutting board, I just made a little slot. Reason being, I don't want the post to roll when I'm gonna make the cut. I want it to be 100% stable. So you lay that post down like that. Keep that line 100% on top. Make sure before you start that your knife is completely straight in this direction here. You don't want any angles whatsoever. Take the tip of the knife, moisten the tip, by the way, of the, the tip of the stick. Otherwise, you might get some splinters. Okay, use the tip of the knife. Hold it straight. Don't try to make the angle right now because there's actually a uh, angle on the tip of the blade. So most likely if you hold it perfectly straight and, and then from the tip, one slice, don't try to saw it off, one slice all the way through like this. Now I'm going to show you the slice that we got here. And do not use sandpaper on this, it will not be necessary. Now, next step is to look on the back and lay it up on the back of the violin and see how perfect it is. This is too much of a cut, so I just wanted to show you I almost held it straight and it was too much of a cut. Some violins have bigger angles, but this one needs less of an angle. So I'm gonna do it one more time, and this is why it's good before you cut this uh, sound post stick to get at least one angle perfect. Moisten the end of it. Make sure your line is all the way on top. Start with the tip of the knife, and then Make sure that you're perpendicular and one clean slice down. Now you hold the violin upside down. You take the stick, the one that you just cut, and you lay it, offset the center about three quarters of an inch because that's where the foot's gonna sit about. Press it down and check the angle. If the angle is too much, then your stick is too straight. If it's going the other way, then your angle is too, is too much. So you, you need to adjust that angle till you get it just right. Turn the violin upside down, put the shortest side on the outside of the violin, and stick it inside the violin in the center of the F hole until it touches the bottom. Okay, now you take a straight edge and you lay it across the top of the violin like this, and then you mark the top exactly where that line comes is where you mark it. All right, now, if you have a tool like this, Obviously, this tool is gonna to help you get the perfect position inside the violin. But now I'm gonna use this tool to show you how close I am just by doing it the way I did it right now. Okay, so you loosen this tool, you stick it inside, put it in the spot where you know that the sound post is gonna be, you lift the top part of it, and you tighten it. So this is in the right position. Make sure it's straight. You don't want it to lean in any direction when you tighten it, okay? Take the tool out, and we're gonna check with our line here. Let's see if I can find the line. Here it is. All right, all right. 
So I'm going to try to show you how accurate that was. Okay, so there's a line right there that I drew. Here's the tool. It's pretty much perfect. I always like to make the posts a little longer, just in case. Remember we made the line in the center of the grains right here? Well, I'm going to make that same line. I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to draw my line, which is about 2 16 longer, right here. Next step is to cut the post right here, and then we're going to make our angled cut. All right, so the way I do this is I put the knife just slightly beyond that line, and I roll the stick back and forth with the utility knife. Let me turn that around a little more. A couple more times. There it is. All right, so now I'm all the way through here. Now, for the most part, this is a clean cut, as you can see, but it doesn't have an angle. Okay, and I have this line right here as a guide to my perfect angle this way. I put the piece of sound post down. You want to moisten the end here. And then you want to take a brand new blade perhaps to do this cut. Now, what you could do is you could compare the angle you have here on the top of the violin as well to see if you want the same angle or not. And try to remember the angle that you had on the blade when you made the cut. I'm now going to compare my bottom cut to the top to see if it's the same angle I want to have. Now, I need a bit less of an angle on the top. So I remember the angle that I had with my knife. I remember the angle that I had, so I'm going to keep that line on the top. Now I'm on the other side of the post, the post that we measured now to get the top. I'm putting the knife about... about a sixteenth of an inch away from the end. And I'm going to press at that angle. I'm going to keep this blade straight in this direction, 100% straight. I'm going to keep the line on the top and I'm going to go from the tip of the knife all the way through the sound post. Now, I'm going to show you again Now that I have that top cut, I'm going to make sure that the top cut is 100% straight, which it is. I'm going to double check the bottom again. Let's see if that you can see that sitting perfectly straight there, no air anywhere. And now I'm going to put it inside the violin and see if it's too long or too short. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this end of the sound post adjuster the, with the sharp end, we're going to stick it into, let's say, a third the way down the top part of the sound post. So the part that's going to be towards where the strings are is going to be closer to the top. You can go down to almost half. It depends on your technique for putting it in, right? And you want the shorter sides of the post, the angled sides, to be towards the tool itself. Then you're going to enter through the F hole here, the wide part. Sometimes it's easier than other times. And you're going to touch the bottom of the violin. Push down and pull so you pull the whole part, other part back into place. Then you're going to take the other side of the tool and you're going to push the there we go, top part so you wedge it. Then we're going to proceed to adjust it by tapping with the other side. Adjust if it's on an angle, you want to hit the top part so it comes straight or the opposite, the bottom. You want to use this notch, for example. That's where the inner notch of the F hole is where the bridge will line up. So you want to tap the sound post to the point where it lines up slightly behind that notch. And then later on, when you have the bridge in place, you may want to move it again. But uh, at this point, you just want to get it straight in both directions, in this direction and in this direction. This is also a very good tool to have, a light that you can shine through the violin and see the post really well. Now it's lining up really good. I can also look through the tailpiece hole and make sure that it's straight. And you have a lot of lines in the back of the violin to, to check and see that it is indeed straight and perfect. And you want to look at the feet on both sides, the top and the bottom, and make sure it's flush. You might want to shine some light if it's not daylight. I'm shining the light on the sound post so you can see how it's sitting here. I may still have to adjust it a little bit because it should be 100% straight looking inside it. But I wish you could see. Let me see if I could show you from here. 
yeah you can see it's slightly behind that center notch on the F hole if you want the sound to be a little more powerful on the lower strings have a little more uh, a little darker color you can try to make the post slightly longer but we're talking about a half a millimeter or so and if you want a brighter sound you might want to have it a little short and bring it over to this side the violin in itself will have a character as well it might be a dark sounding instrument so you know you might want to put more brightness on it and it might be a bright instrument you want to have it darker so you could do a lot with tensions with the location of the post the post is is known as the soul of the instrument and it has such a huge effect on the instrument that this could be something that you may want to try thanks for watching